there has just been a very exciting update to the Notion API. So I thought I need to record a quick video to explain exactly what it is and why it matters. To understand why it's so cool, we need to zoom out for a moment and talk about the typical problem. Very often in Notion, you have content in one page and you wanna copy that content over to another page. For example, you might have a situation where you define in one database right, a series of default tasks for your big project. For example, whenever you onboard a new client, right, you have 17 different tasks that should be triggered as soon as it's signed. And within a task, you might have additional instructions right, and context on, on how to do it. Right? For example, my onboard new client task might have a few more details right, and some like simple checklists if I don't want to use subtasks for every single thing. Now, if I want to create this task, right, uh, whenever a new client uh, comes up, we can build an automation, and we do this a lot for our clients, that goes in, right, and checks our current list of standard tasks, and then moves them all over to the actual task database, right? Because, of course, this template one, right, is not the one that will get ticked off. We need to create the actual entry in the task database with all the properties. So for every single client, we have one entry. Up until today, this was actually quite hard to do. Not so much the part where you create a new task, right, and you refill the responsible person and you can dynamically fill due dates. Everything pretty much that is a database property or also structured data is very easy to handle in the Notion API. But as soon as you get to the page body, right, so the elements that pop up when you open an entry, this here, the unstructured data, that's quite hard to handle. Because if you look at how the Notion API responds, you basically get a very big JSON object with a lot of formatting back. And there's not an easy way to just say, well, I would like to have this elsewhere, at least until today. As of today, the Notion API finally supports templates, which means you can apply pretty much any page content to a new page. I'm not sure whether you noticed this, but so far, if you either used a third-party tool right, that generated things in Notion, or if you were building your own solutions using tools like N8N or Make, it was not possible to apply a database template. Right? You could only apply the database template later manually by actually going into the entry and clicking on it. Even if you had something set as default, right? it would simply not take that. But now what we can do is when we create a new page, you can define a template ID. You can basically tell Notion, well, when I create this page, I would like you to take the content or like the setup right from this other page and it pretty much behaves as if you were manually clicking that apply template button. And it gets even better. The thing that you apply, right, so where you're pulling the content from, doesn't even have to be an actual template. You can feed any ID from any page in your Notion workspace into this and we'll just copy over the body of that page to the other one. Let me show you an example. Here, right, in this setup, we have, uh, in the, this is a normal task, but right? this is not a template. It lives on this actual uh, database. This database doesn't even have any templates set up. And I want to copy over this onboard new client information to this new item. And on this other database, right, we have um, a template, but it doesn't fill anything, right? It just assigns the icon. And otherwise, there's nothing really here. Now, in our, uh, thanks to a new endpoint, what we can do is we can simply uh, need to pull out the ID from the one page, right? The one that has the content and the ID from the new page. And if you create this with your automation, right? You will probably have that anyway. And then we can run this once, right? So let me just uh, have this uh, <laughs> apply once. And we see in a second, this onboard new client thing will update with the content from the other page. There it is. It copied everything over, right? The full formatting, every single bit of it, even the checked off elements, right? That I had checked off in the other one. This is insanely useful. And even if you never used the Notion API before and don't plan on doing it anytime soon, you will see benefits from this because it allows other app developers to upgrade their tools. For example, Thomas Frank, right? He's building Flylighter, this amazing save for later app. And now it will be possible through these apps to define what template in Notion should be applied from this setup. 
And of course, if you are either building out your own systems or you work with consultants like me and my team to help you create these processes, that means now we can do a lot more powerful things. Another use case for this is to streamline onboarding, right? When you onboard a new user, you want to kind of often create them like a custom plan for them where they have their own tasks, right, that they can check off. But of course, should rely on the general knowledge from the company. So very often you want to have this setup, right, where you have um, a few of these standard defined tasks so the HR team also can easily update them right in Notion in the familiar interface. But whenever something comes, you want to create a copy of it because otherwise, right, you, you have this effect, right? Someone else checked off these simple boxes already and that, of course, is not what's supposed to happen. With this endpoint, you can now very easily uh, copy that whenever a new user joins. I'll be recording a deeper dive tutorial into how you can now use this to create proper recurring projects, things like this onboarding in Notion very soon. But in the meantime, right, if you need help, you know where to find me and my team. And of course, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I'll also link to the official Notion documentation so you can start on it today. And yeah, just a very exciting news. And I had to get that one quickly out. Now, if you need something to watch in the meantime, right, I would really recommend you check out my Notion AI agent guide. If you haven't seen that yet, we have a lot of tips in there to make it really, really powerful and a lot better at executing complex workflows. Just click here and I will see you in a few seconds.